when students to pretend to fail yeah. test prank. Oh my I know, man. I actually, I'm pissed. He told me, he told me try and book um, another one straight away until like February. Oh no! Yeah, so it's a bit jarring, I can't lie. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, easy oh pass. Oh my god, yeah! The first time, first time, come on. It's like they're driving to Centre waiting for a student to get back. Let's come out, had my tea, try one out. There's a test center. Let's see if our students pass. Here we are again. Look, they're trying to recruit as well for driving instructors. I mean examiners. Just so the backlog of driving tests can be reduced. So there's our student and the examiner. They don't want to be sitting in the same car yeah. due to COVID. And we've passed. First time in Isaworth. I'll come a bit closer to show you the certificate. Oh, you were a bit like reasonably close to the traffic lights. Um, Way, yeah. No, thank you so much, man. Sick, bro. Sick. But what are we getting? McDonald's, yeah? I'm going, you're McDonald's. So, hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School, and we've got some really good news today. We had a test uh, with our student, Yannick. What's happened, Yannick? Tell us. Tell us the story. I've passed, man. I've passed. There we go. First oh, time as well, yeah? Can I take this off? Can I take this off? Uh, yeah, go on, then. Go on, man. Hot, bro. But really, you should be wearing it. Yeah? Open the door, at least. Open yeah. the door. Go on. Uh, just because you passed, when I allow you. Come on. Alright, cool. So, um, so anyway, we passed first time. Show us again, Yannick. There we go. Uh hey guys, don't forget to check out fmdriverschool.co.uk. We've got so many links in how to pass your driving test, how to pass your theory test, and so many links in how and what exactly your driving instructor should be teaching you the modules. Um, let's go to look, how to drive a car, how to drive a manual car, how to drive an automatic car, what is clutch control, what happens in your driving test, what else, driving modules, let's go to that. Moving off, how to stop, how to do hill starts, um, turning left, emergency stop, rules of random bus. So go check it out, fmdrivingschool.co.uk with your fully qualified driving instructor, FM. And finally guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. In the bottom right hand side of your screen, there's a little button. Click the button to subscribe with FM Driving School. And also scroll through our channel, you'll see a driving mock test by our student Yannick. Literally only about a week and a half ago, or literally 10 days ago. And you'll see the difference between that to getting a pass test certificate. Alright Yannick, so tell us about um, the test itself. How did it go? Like, What was the examiner like? Okay. So the test was roughly about 12.30 say. Yeah. And uh, from my point of view, it was a full 40 minutes. Mm. He didn't come back early. Other um, students, they came back a bit earlier. Mm. But yours was a full 40 minutes. So I had a slight feeling that you'd, uh, you'd pass. Because yeah. why would they do a full 40 minutes? Unless mm. on the way back you did something serious. Yeah. And you didn't. All right. So how was the test? Tell us. So it was calm. Like um, I went through first and second exits or roundabouts. Um, yeah, I did emergency stop. Did you? Yeah, so oh, I did emergency okay, stop okay. and then I did parallel park. Yeah. Um, it was quite smooth, I can't lie. So, uh, how many roundabouts? Oh, I can't even big remember. Ones, big like, ones? So I did one big one, yeah. which was first exit. First exit, that's all right. And then like, just other little small ones. Oh, okay, okay. Like was, what were the roads like? Were they quite empty? Mm, not busy. the first roundabout. The first oh. roundabout was a bit busy, but oh, the other ones were Okay, okay. Were okay, and um, what about sat-nav? Yes, yeah, so we did sat nav at the start. Yeah. And then, yeah, he was just telling me where to go to come okay. back to the test center. Was he chanting with the examiner or what was he like? Uh, not really. I mean, he was he was just telling me, like, oh, do this, do that. But yeah. it, in, a, in a calm manner, like, he wasn't, yeah. like, angry or whatever. Okay, know. cool. Um, so the maneuver itself, how was the maneuver? Tell us about it. Maneuver was calm, I can't lie. Um, I thought I flopped a tiny bit. Why? But um, because I wasn't straight at the start. Okay. When you finishing um, me? Oh, at yeah, the start when, when I, you started off. No. Okay. So I came in. Yeah. And when I finished, um, I I thought I wasn't too like straight, and then okay. I clocked that he wasn't speaking. So then yeah. he was like, "Oh, are you finished?" And I was like, "Nah, let me just turn fix a bit. Up. Yeah, fix up." And okay. Then I was calm. Uh, so if you're a bit told to, you don't actually fell for it. So you probably oh. would have given you a minor. But okay. it's good that maybe there was space for you to fix. So it's good yeah. that you did. Okay. Emergency stop. How did that go? It went good. I can't lie. Okay, Houston, so yeah. um, it's unlikely, um, mm. it's not compulsory for you guys to do the emergency stop. Mm. It's like 20% chance of you getting it and you did get it. Yeah. Um, and the sat nav, you followed it well? Yeah, you I followed it You well. didn't go the wrong way? No wrong ways, no. Okay, good, good. Um, so, in terms of the test, like going leading up to it, mm. um, were, were you nervous like when you jumped in I and was when really you jumped nervous. in the car? Yeah, because I thought they were going to be like really, really strict. Yeah. Um, but you just have to like keep your head focused and mm. you'll be calm, innit? Okay, 
So in terms of lessons, Yannick, I have to be honest, you are one of our quickest learners. Come on. You didn't take that many lessons. Mm. Uh, in the first 10 hours that we done, you picked up things really quickly. I think mm. we taught you everything in the first yeah. 10 hours, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but then we had like a about two months gap mm. for the test. Um, and to be fair to you, um, that was three months and if you're waiting. Yeah. And so you did you done the first 10 hours. Mm. We were expecting you to carry on with the lessons. Mm. Uh, but then you thought, you know what, I've got a whole two months left. Let me yeah, leave. Let me chill, yeah. chill for a bit, which is fair enough. Mm. Um, so then you jumped back in after about three weeks ago you jumped back in yeah. and you were really rusty because obviously bad. we took a gap yeah. 10 hours is not a lot you're mm. still kind of intermediate stage mm. uh, or beginning stage in fact if anything yeah. but in that 10 hours you learned so quickly mm. that I was quite confident that you might pick things up again mm. but the first lesson we did um, it went quite bad it you were really bad yeah, yeah and this was only literally two weeks ago wasn't it yeah that was and yeah yeah do you remember so, bro I, I don't even know <laughs> I've, I literally went. Uh, my confidence just went from here yeah. to like here after that mock test. Yeah, yeah. Like, but. So we actually did a mock test as well, and um, it's recorded. So if you go mm. to our channel FM Driving School, you can see yeah. literally two weeks ago to him getting a certificate how bad he was. Mm. Um, you don't mind me saying that? Yeah, yet, no, I don't mind. I don't mind. But um, you'll see all the mistakes that he done, and in that two weeks, how we fixed up. Mm. So then we then we decided. You know what? As as bad as that lesson was, we thought. Because your test is coming soon, we still had to make you independent. Yeah. So the difference was in teaching that um, um, when you're learning, we gave, we guide you, we guide you, tell you what to do, where to look. But we're doing mock tests or preparing you for the test. We give you a lot of independence. Mm. So you make the decisions, and then you see the mistakes yourself firsthand, which can be really demoralizing. Because mm. you see the mistakes, you make them, and you, your confidence just drops, doesn't it? Mm. But we decided the best way for you to learn and bring that confidence up, um, not even confidence, just to get your test done, is to mm. allow you to be independent, didn't we? Mm. And we split the lessons up. So the first half an hour we'll be teaching you. The next half an hour we do mock tests. And you mm. kind of wanted that as well. You're yeah, like, yeah. can you be more stricter with me? Yeah, I wanted that. Um, I that. Obviously, as a teacher, we don't want to break your confidence. Mm. We don't want to be so strict that you can't handle the lesson. Mm. But it worked out in the end. So we were yeah. firm. Any mistakes that you made, we make sure we're, like, we're on to you. Like, why are you making these mistakes? Yeah. So um, let's let's talk about some of the mistakes. Uh, first was some of the maneuvers, okay. the routine you kept forgetting. Yeah. We told you, look, your test is in two weeks. Mm. Remember the routine. You did that, didn't you? I start? did the routine, yeah. Uh, the test. Do you remember you always start messaging me, non-stop, bro? Like, uh -huh. how do I do it? Send me screenshots. Yeah. And so what I done was in the end, I think I just sent you a link to my YouTube channel, mm. isn't it? Like, where I made a video with some other students. Yeah. And what else? The stalling as well. I think that was just nerves, isn't it? Yeah. Like you were just getting back used to my car. Mm. Um, were you stalling in the test? I didn't stall once. Okay, go, 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 go. So Yannick, um, as I said, you're one of our quickest learners. You've done everything in 20, less than 20 hours, isn't yeah. it? Uh, 20 hours. Any advice for students out there learning to drive? What do you yeah. think about the 20 hours? I um, mean, your view, I think when I met you was like, can I pass in 10 hours? Yeah, I thought, um, okay, guys, tell us, like, tell us. I can't yeah. lie. People, my my thought on it was like, oh, I'm going to do like 10, 15 hours maximum and pass. It's not like that. You need the experience. So, like, if you're a quick learner like me, okay, maybe you can pass in like 20 hours like I did. Mm. But um, if you're not, you need to have at least like 30, 40 hours. I can't lie because it's, you need the experience. So... Uh, so this this um, from a student's point of view, mm. if you look at DVSA's website, they themselves say his average is yeah. 40. And the reason for that is, as we said to Yannick, that we've taught you everything in 10 hours. Mm. The next 10 literally was gaining that experience, wasn't it? Yeah. And for some students, that experience might take another, yeah, no. another uh, 10, so maybe yeah. 30 hours. But we push you so hard that hopefully you can like remember everything that we taught you. Yeah. And we're just about ready, isn't it? Imagine yeah. you had another 10, you would have mm. been mad confident, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, but well done, 10 out uh, 20 hours, mm. one of our quickest learners and pass first time. Come so on. well done, brother, man. Well done, man. Thank you, bro. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Tell us. I'm going to take you McDonald's or something and get you something to Keep eat. Keep it the halal, yeah? Come Bit on, little fish. 